He's currently celebrating the 40th anniversary of his timeless song called God Bless the USA. Please welcome to the studio, Lee Greenwood. So great to have you here. Thank you. There is a lot going on in your world. Man, I tell you what, you know, there's so much going on. Um, we were just in France, by the way, for a month where I had a chance to sing at Normandy. Uh, wow. and, and then my family was with it. We laid a wreath there at the... At the uh, at Normandy's uh, site where the 10,000 American soldiers are buried. So that was kind of moving. I, I'm back in the country, of course, and then we're back on tour and so many things to cover. There is a lot to cover. <laughs> Number one, should we even start? Let's start with the box set. Let's okay. start there. All right. This is incredible. It's called All Time Hits and American Anthems Box Set. Tell us about this and how much of a joy did you have in putting this together? I think, you know, with the new Alexa and Spotify carrying all of the music from the past, it's kind of a benefit to us who are older artists. But they have the box sets coming out with um, Definitive Collection and American Patriot with the album that I had in 1992. Mm -hmm. That was the two things I did right. Second was Marry My <laughs> Wife, which we've had a 31 anniversary. Happy anniversary, Happy honey. Anniversary. Uh, <laughs> and then um, it comes with a T-shirt as well and a signed uh, picture inside. And this release date is uh, coming up soon. I don't remember exactly the date. July it's coming up soon. July 28th. That's is it. that right? July 28th, the release yeah. date across America. But you can get pre-sale. Uh, right. You could go to the Universal. Well, tonight, we're going to be talking to uh, Talk Shop Live. You're going to be here on RFD TV, 7 p.m. Yes. Eastern, and we're going to be giving out that code for people to go ahead Perfect. and get that pre-sale. Thank you. I want to talk about God Bless the USA. Oh, my. 40 years. You know, I, I, I think about that when people say that how old that song is, and yet it's like everybody needs it now. Um, yeah. um, I wrote it in the back of my bus. Jerry Crutchfield, my producer at the time, when we talked about whether we should release it as an as a single or not, and it was actually Universal that made the call in those years. 1983 in the fall, I can remember going to Los Angeles and having them say, that's gonna be the song. I don't think anybody would ever have heard it on the album, You've Got a Good Love Coming, have we not chosen it as a single? And you know what that meant? If a single is designated, that means radio will play it. Right. Otherwise, it's an album cut. It's an album cut, So, yeah. yes, here we are, 40 years since I wrote it, and uh, and it became a song and a hit, and it's now like one of America's songs. I know that you have told this story, and for those who may not know, what was going on? What prompted you to sit down and write that song? And from from what I've read, it came together pretty quickly for you. Is that true? Yes, it did. Yeah. And, and like a lot of the songs, when we write a song, it's like a little baby, and we want to mm -hmm. show it to everybody and play it for everybody. I, I was raised in Sacramento, California, on a on a farm, and uh, I, I know I had a love for the country. I played at McClellan and May through Air Force bases as a kid with my band, and I recognized the military sacrifice. I marched in parades. I was a drum major in my high school marching band. Uh, I was in Vegas for 20 years. I watched the uh, jets take off at Nellis Air Force Base, and I realized the sacrifice again. It wasn't until I got to Nashville, Tennessee, that I had a platform to deliver it. And so it was almost three and a half years into my career as an artist before one night I'm just going down the road on my bus and I'd had some military people I had met um, and I read it that night and I took it to my producer the next day and he said, I think, I think that's kind of cool, but it doesn't follow what you're releasing. And I had like five mm -hmm. or six songs that already went to the top of the charts and it was a considered release, whether or not we need to do that good for my career. But again, mm -hmm. had it not been universal making the call, it may have never been heard. You know, it speaks to who you are as a person, your love for this country, um, and also what speaks to that is this Bible that you have released. Can we talk about this? The God Bless the USA Holy Bible. There's a lot to this. Well, as you see, it's leather bound. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I just presented you with yes. one of them. Thank you I'm for a conservative signing. Christian. I'm proud, I'm proud to tell you that. But when we started releasing this Bible, uh, we wanted to make sure everybody knew what was in it. It is the King James Version. Naturally, you don't touch the, the Holy Bible. In the back of the Bible, however, there's the Constitution, readable version. Mm -hmm. When's the last time you're able to read the, con the, the Constitution? Right. Even if you go to Washington, D.C., it's a little tiny print, and it's behind glass. So the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, and the Pledge of Allegiance. People can refer to that when they want to teach people about a patriotic lesson, and if you'd like to know about the history of Jesus Christ, both of them are in there. All in here. This is beautiful, and it's so well put together. It is a beautiful binding. Thank you. Binding. I'm proud of that. So, so much. I do really want a quick mention, of course, that the uh, All-Star Salute to Lee Greenwood, that happened a few months back. That's going to be airing on Veterans Day weekend. 
We're going to try and get a lot of veterans to the movie theaters to see this special. I know it had to be an incredible experience for you hearing your songs performed by your friends and everybody taking the stage in your honor. Wow, it yeah. was unbelievable. Uh, Huntsville, Alabama is where we filmed it. It hits AMC theaters on Veterans Day this year, and we would just so much like to have every veteran we know that could come to these theaters across America. It's called Adopt a Vet. And uh, if you know a veteran and like to come see a program that features 40 different artists singing my hits, this is the place to go. Veterans Day, it'll be in all AMC theaters across America. Adoptavet.com. Adoptavet.com, that's the place to go. And real quick, those of you going to be setting off fireworks, take a look at this. A man who has his own fireworks. Proud to be an American. That is pretty incredible. When did that come about? Well, I love I love the, the Star Spangled Banner. I love God Bless You. I say to close my shows, you have fireworks. You have, uh, you know, the, the most spectacular stuff that goes on after a major concert. So here it is. Black Cat Fireworks. It'll be available all over the country. Go look for them when you look for your fireworks stands. That's tonight, Talk Shop Live. This man taking the stage here at the RFD TV studios. Going to be talking about that box set and so much more. Stay tuned for that, 7 p.m. Eastern. Coming up next, we're going to take a look at the forecast. Jess Womack. Next. Boom.